Peace and Pan-Africanism, peace and Pan-Africanism. Peace and Pan-Africanism, peace and Pan-Africanism. Peace and Pan-Africanism, peace and Pan-Africanism. Peace and Pan-Africanism to my continental Africans. Peace and Pan-Africanism to my Africans in Asia. Peace and Pan-Africanism to my South Pacific Africans. Peace and Pan-Africanism to my Australian Africans. Peace and Pan-Africanism to my French Africans, my British Africans, my Irish Africans, my German Africans, my Russian Africans, my Austrian Africans, my Slovenian Africans. Peace and Pan-Africanism to my Africans in the Middle East. Peace and Pan-Africanism to my West Africans, peace and Pan-Africanism to my Ghanaian Africans, Liberian Africans, Cameroonian Africans, Nigerian Africans, Togolese Africans, Benin, Gambia, Zambia, Botswana, Lesotho, South Africa, the DRC, Congo, Tanzania, Mali, Niger, Guinea, Peace and Pan-Africanism to my Burkina Faso Africans, my Malawi Africans, my Nubian Africans, my Ethiopian Africans, my Texas Africans, my Georgia Africans, my Carolina Africans, my Maryland Africans, DC Africans, Philly Africans, Detroit, Phoenix, Chicago, Milwaukee Africans, Little Rock Africans, Jackson, Mississippi Africans, New Orleans, Shreveport Africans. It's your big brother King Kong consciousness. It's your big brother King Kong consciousness coming to you live and direct with the announcement we all been waiting for. With the announcement we all been waiting for. Peace and Pan-Africanism to my South American Africans, my Central American Africans. Peace and Pan-Africanism to my Jamaican Africans, my Haitian Africans, my Aruba, Carousel Africans, Bahamas, Bermuda Africans, St. Croix, St. Thomas, St. Lucia, St. Martin, St. Vincent, Guadeloupe Africans, Martinique Africans, all my Africans from around the world, it's your brother King Kong Consciousness, the most requested, the most relevant, and the most revolutionary scholar on the planet. I said the most requested, the most revolutionary, and the most relevant black scholar in the world today. I said the most requested, the most revolutionary, and the most relevant black scholar in the world today, brothers and sisters. I'm coming to you with the announcement we've been waiting for since we bought this school on February the 7th of 2019. That was four years, six months, and four days ago, brothers and sisters. Four years, six months, and four days. Four years ago, six months, and four days we bought this school. Y'all know what we've been through. We've been through the vandalism. We've been through the hate. We've been through the slander, the sabotage, the scamming of the black contractors. We've been through all of it. The YouTubian distractors, we've been through all of it. But today, Black August, today, Black August, where my Leo's at one time? Where my Leo's at one time? Where my lions and my lionesses right now? If you was born in August, whether you a Leo or whether you are a Virgo, make some noise right now. Whether you a Leo or Black August birthday, this is for us right now. But you know what? I want to say thank you to all my donors. Where are my donors at? How many of y'all been donating since the first fundraiser, April the 14th, St. Louis 2014? How many been donating since 2015? How many been donating since 16, 17? Who been donating since 18 and 19? Who been donating since 2020 COVID and 2021 and 2022? Where are my donors at from around the world? We wouldn't be here without the donors right now. We would not be here without the donors. My African donors, thank you. South American donors, thank you. Central American African donors, Caribbean donors, my donors in Asia, my donors in Australia, and of course, all my donors from across the United States, Los Angeles, Oakland, brothers and sisters, my Georgia, my Carolina, my Maryland, my DC, my Philly, my Jersey, my Boston donors, my Kentucky donors, my Tennessee donors, my Minnesota donors, my Illinois donors, my Michigan, where my Ohio donors at right now, brothers and sisters, I am proud and I am pleased to announce to you at this moment, Black August 11th, 
of 2023. I'm live, King. Black August 11th of 2023. I'm on a live stream, King. <laughs> I'm here for a minute, though. Swing back around. Okay, I got you. That we have finally completed all of the renovations for the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey RBG International Leadership Academy for Pan-African Excellence. I'm going to say it again. Today, August 11th, 2023, Black August, we have completed all of the renovations for the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey RBG International Leadership Academy for Pan-African Excellence. I got to say it one more time. I got to say it one more time because it feels good to finally say that after everything we've been through the past four years and six months. It feels good to finally say that after everything we've been through the past nine years and six months since we began the fundraiser. I am proud to report to all my African family around the world because this is a pan-African school, a pan-African mission. And this school came together by all members of the African family around the world. So Africa is celebrating with us. The Caribbean is celebrating with us. Our European African brothers and sisters, the ones in Asia, in Australia, Canada, and the South Pacific, my Brazilian Africans, my Honduran Africans. We got Cuban Africans and Rican Africans who are celebrating with us. We did it, brothers and sisters. They finished the HVAC today. We did it, brothers and sisters. We did it, brothers and sisters. Electric is done. HVAC is done. Plumbing is done. Sprinklers is done. Fire is done. Burglar is done. All systems are done. So what do we got to do next? Listen up, brothers and sisters. Oh, I can't wait to get to Harlem, New York on Thursday, August the 17th. I'm going to talk my shit. I said when I get to Harlem, New York on Thursday, August the 17th, I want them New York City haters. I want them New York City haters to be in the Alhambra ballroom. 99% of New York City ride with Dr. Umar. 99% of New York City ride with Dr. Umar. 99% of New York City ride with Dr. Umar, but I got a 1%, 1% conscious haters up there, conscious haters up there, so-called conscious community haters in New York City who was talking a lot of crap, saying I was stealing the money, I was scamming, wasn't going to be no school. Make sure y'all are inside the Alhambra ballroom. Make sure you in Harlem on Thursday, August the 17th, the 136th solar return of the greatest of the great. I said the 136th solar return of the greatest of the great. I'm talking about His Excellency, the prophet of Pan-Africanism, the most honorable Marcus Garvey. When we celebrate Garvey Thursday, I'm coming to New York, mission accomplished. I said when we celebrate Garvey, at the Alhambra Ballroom on Thursday, August the 17th in Harlem, New York at 7 p.m. I'm going to talk my talk. And I want all you conscious haters who was running your trap for the past four years, who ain't done nothing for the people, ain't built nothing for the people. All you do is sell your scams to the people. Make sure you in the Alhambra Ballroom, please. Please make sure you in the Alhambra ballroom and then we go on to Frederick Douglass gravesite. The next day, Friday, August the 17th, we in Rochester, New York, Frederick Douglass gravesite. The libation will be from 10 until 11. All my Rochester Africans, join me at the namesake gravesite of this school. Join me at the namesake gravesite of this great institution. We are going to Frederick Douglass's gravesite. My four times great grand cousin Frederick Douglass. My four times great grand cousin Frederick Douglass. We going to his gravesite on Friday, August the 18th. If you are in upstate New York, join us at the Frederick Douglass gravesite, Mount Hope Cemetery. Mount Hope Cemetery in Rochester. 10 a.m. to 11 a.m., I'm going to do a libation. And before today, I didn't know 
that this would be a victory libation in the name of Frederick Douglass. I didn't know that I was going to Rochester to deliver the good news to the great ancestor. I didn't know I was going to Rochester to deliver the good news to the great ancestor, but that's going to be a victory libation at the Frederick Douglass gravesite. I'm going to let the great ancestor know we did it and we did it in your name. We did it and we did it in your name. We did it and we did it in your name. And then we go into Atlanta, Georgia. And then we go into Atlanta, Georgia. Where my Georgia Africans at? Where my Georgia Africans at? State of my paternal ancestors. Where my Georgia Africans at? I'm going to see y'all at the Shrine of the Black Madonna, 3 o'clock on Saturday, August the 19th. I'm going to see y'all at the Shrine of the Black Madonna, 3 o'clock on Saturday, August the 19th. I'm going to see you at the Shrine of the Black Madonna, Ralph David Abernathy Boulevard at 3 o'clock on August the 19th. And I'm going to talk my speech 99% of Atlanta loves Dr. Umar. 99% of Atlanta loves Dr. Umar. 99% of Atlanta loves Dr. Umar, but we got that 1%. Just like in New York, Atlanta is a Dr. Umar city. New York is a Dr. Umar city, but we got that 1% in Atlanta who don't like me. So you haters in Georgia who had all that crap to say about what I was doing with the school money, will you please pull up to the Shrine of the Black Madonna at 3 o'clock on Saturday? Will you please pull up to the Shrine of the Black Madonna on Ralph David Abernathy Boulevard at 3 o'clock next Saturday, August the 19th, as we celebrate His Excellency? as we celebrate his excellency, the father of modern Pan-Africanism and the father of modern black nationalism, the most honorable Marcus Garvey. Brothers and sisters, then we go into Petersburg, Virginia. Where my Petersburg, Virginia Africans at? Virginia, where you at one time? Virginia, where you at one time? We in Petersburg, Virginia for the Gabriel Prosser lecture in Petersburg, brothers and sisters. Four o'clock Sunday, August the 20th. Four o'clock Sunday, August the 20th. Petersburg, Virginia. Four o'clock Sunday, August the 20th. And then the next day. And then the next day, solar return for King Kong consciousness. The next day, solar return for the Prince of Pan-Africanism. The next day, solar return for Intercontinental Ifa Tunde. We will be celebrating the greatest revolutionary in American history. I'm talking about the prophet Nat Turner. If you ain't reserved your ticket for Nat Turner, this is a historic Nat Turner because I'm coming with the good news. I'm coming to let my Virginia brothers and sisters know. I'm coming to Petersburg and Druryville to let my Virginia brothers and sisters know the Frederick Douglass and Marcus Garvey Academy renovations are done, brothers and sisters. So make sure you go to NatTurnerland.com and get your tickets. Make sure you go to NatTurnerland.com and get your tickets. Rochester is free. Atlanta is free. Petersburg is free. Rochester is free. Atlanta is free. Petersburg is free. Get your tickets for Harlem. Get your tickets for Nat Turner land. Get your tickets for Harlem. Get your tickets for Nat Turner land. Get your tickets for Harlem. Get your tickets for Nat Turner land. A few more things before I let y'all go. A few more things before I let y'all go. We got to get the HVAC inspected. They finished the HVAC today. We got to get it inspected. Once the HVAC is inspected, I'm talking to my donors right now. If you're not a donor, keep it quiet or hop off the live. I'm talking to FDMG Academy donors only right now. To my donors from around the African diaspora. To my donors across the African diaspora, the HVAC has to get inspected. As soon as that's done, we are applying for our certificate of occupancy. Certificate of occupancy, certificate of occupancy. I am also setting up three very important days of preparation. There will be a FDMG donors only paint day. There will be a FDMG donors only paint day. There will be a FDMG donors only paint day. Who coming to paint? Who coming to help us paint the 15 classrooms inside of the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey 
Marcus Garvey Elementary School. Who coming to paint? Who coming to paint from Carolina? Who coming to paint from Africa? Who coming to paint from Canada? Who coming to paint from Haiti? Who coming to paint from Los Angeles and Oakland? Who coming to paint from Brazil in Bermuda in Bahamas and Honduras? Who's coming to paint, brothers and sisters? We going to have a paint day. We going to have a paint day. We going to have a paint day. Paint day doesn't have to wait for the uh, occupancy because donors, investors are painting. Donors, investors are painting. Donors, investors are painting, not the public. Donors and investors are painting. If you are interested in painting on paint day, shoot me a text. If you are interested, if you are a donor who wants to come and participate in paint day, and I plan on having paint day before summertime ends, or should I say before, yeah, before it gets chilly, we're going to do it in September. We're looking at a paint day in September. We're looking at a paint day in September for brothers and sisters. We're going to have a paint day and then we're going to have a cleanup day and then we're going to have a furniture day. We're going to have a paint day, a cleanup day and a furniture day. Three different days, brothers and sisters. A paint day after we paint and the paint dry, we're going to come back a week later. Clean up day for those who want to help us clean the bathrooms and clean the floors and get the school nice and clean for that grand opening. Get the school nice and clean for that grand opening. So if you don't want to paint, you can clean. If you don't want to clean, you can paint or you can come on furniture day, day three. Furniture day, that's when we move all the school furniture into the school. We're going to need men for that. We're going to need unapologetically African alpha males for that. We're going to need unapologetically African alpha males for the furniture day to move the school furniture into the Frederick Douglass and Marcus Garvey Academy. Let me ask my sisters something. I want to tap into the divine feminine, but brothers, feel free to give your input. I want to tap into the great divine feminine, but brothers, feel free to give your input. I want to tap into the great divine feminine, but brothers, feel free to give your input. What colors should we paint the classrooms? Should each classroom be a different color? Should each classroom be a single color? Should each classroom have a separate color from all the other classrooms? This is a boys' school. I want your input on the color scheme inside the school. What color should we paint the bathrooms? What color should we paint the teacher's lounge? What color should we paint the computer room? What color should we paint the main office? What color should we paint Dr. Umar's office? I want your input on the color scheme. I want your input on the color scheme. I want your input on the color scheme. 15 classes. Go ahead and put your notes on paper and text it to me. Dr. Umar, I thought about this, and this is my color scheme for the 15 rooms. I think your main office should be this color. I think your hallway should be this color. I think your library should be this color. I think your office, Dr. Umar, should be this color. And I think the regular classrooms should be this color. And I think the teacher's lounge should be this color. So let me know, ladies. Text it to me. You know my number, 215-989-9858. 215-989-9858. 215-989-9858. I got a question. Who the first sister in New York City who going to give me a completed renovations hug? Who going to be the first black woman in New York City next Thursday, August the 17th, at the Alhambra Ballroom, Marcus Garvey Day? Which one of my sisters going to give me the first Papa Bear hug? Who am I giving the first Papa Bear hug in New York? Who am I giving the first Papa Bear hug in Rochester, New York? Who am I giving the first Papa Bear hug in Atlanta, Georgia? Who am I giving the first Papa Bear hug in Petersburg, Virginia? Who am I giving the first Papa Bear hug at Nat Turner Land on Monday, August the 21st? We talking about history right here. We talking about history right here. We talking about the first school in American history built exclusively by the African diaspora. We did this ourselves, brothers and sisters, against the hate, the slander, the sabotage, the YouTubian slander, brothers and sisters. I want to know your color scheme. Listen up. If you know how to lay tile and lay carpet, please send me a text message. If you know how to lay tile and lay carpet, please send me a text message. If you know how to lay tile and lay carpet, because after we paint, and after we clean, we have some classrooms that need fresh tile laid down. 
We're going to keep the floor the same color. We got a few classrooms that need fresh tile. Who knows how to lay tile? Who knows how to lay tile? And two rooms are going to have carpet. Who know how to lay carpet down? I need red, black, and green. I need the Pan-African Marcus Garvey flag in one classroom. And I need carpet in my office. My office is going to be carpeted. The principal CEO, CAO's office is going to be carpeted. If you know how to lay carpet, if you got a carpet company, Dr. Umar's office will have carpet. And then the FDMG temple. What is the FDMG temple room? What is the FDMG temple room? What is the FD? The FDMG temple room is where our sons will learn African spirituality, African culture, ancestral veneration, libation. This is where they're going to pray to the most high God. Oh, yes. We're going to have a temple room, a spirituality room. And I want that spirituality room laid out in red, black and green carpet, brothers and sisters. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. If you don't want your son learning African spirituality, don't enroll him in this school. Every black boy at the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy will learn the ancient ways of spiritual communication with the most high. If you got a problem with African spirituality, this is not the school for your son. This is not the school for your son. This is not the school for your son, period, unapologetically. If he can't learn his ancient systems, brothers and sisters, is no need, no need for him to be enrolled at the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy. Let me talk to my truck drivers. And I want to talk to my educators and my principals and my building custodians. Listen to me. If you work at a public school or charter school anywhere in the United States, if you work at a public school or charter school district anywhere in the United States, if you work for a public school or charter school district anywhere in the United States, we need school furniture. We need school furniture. We need school furniture. A lot of schools have closed down since COVID. A lot of public schools have closed down since COVID. I need y'all to do some research in your public school and your charter school. I'm talking to everybody in America, everybody. Do some research, principals, teachers, school district employees. Where is the unused furniture kept at? I want you to talk to the proper authorities at your school, your charter school, your public school district, and tell them, there is an independent school in Wilmington, Delaware, that is tax exempt. So you can write it off tax exempt who can use this furniture. We not doing nothing with these desks. We not doing nothing with these tables. We not doing nothing with these bookshelves. We not doing nothing with this equipment. We sending this to Wilmington, Delaware. And I need my brothers and sisters who got the trucks. If you are a truck driver who don't mind driving school furniture from your state, to the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy, please send me a text message. Dr. Umar, I'm in Georgia. I got a truck. If you get some school furniture in Georgia, I'll bring it to you. Dr. Umar, I'm in California. I got a truck. If you get some school furniture in California, I'm going to bring it to you. Dr. Umar, I got a truck. I'm in Detroit. If you get some Detroit school furniture, I'm bringing it to you. Dr. Umar, I'm in Chicago. Dr. Umar, I'm in Florida. Dr. Umar, I'm in South Carolina. I got a truck. If you get any school furniture donations from my state, I will drive it to the Frederick Douglass and Marcus Garvey Academy. I need some truck drivers, brothers and sisters. And I need my educators and my school district employees to find us some school furniture. We don't want to buy it if we can get it for free. We don't want to buy school furniture if we can get it for free. We don't want to buy school furniture if we can get it for free. We don't want to buy school furniture if we can get it for free. Next topic I want to bring up. If we do have to buy school furniture because we don't get enough donations. If we do have to buy school furniture, if we don't get enough school furniture donations, I need y'all to help me find school furniture companies, school furniture companies, so we can create a registry, just like you do when you do a baby shower. We need to create a school furniture registry. So brothers and sisters who wanna help us buy school furniture can go on the website and buy some desks, buy some chairs, 
buy some bookshelves, buy some tables, right? We need that, brothers and sisters. So if you know of any companies that would be a good company for us to create a school furniture registry, so brothers and sisters can go on there and support us by buying the necessary furniture that we need, please send me the information. So we got to get an HVAC inspection, paint day, cleanup day, furniture day, certificate of occupancy. We need the floor tile laid. We need some carpet laid. If you know how to lay carpet, if you know how to lay floor tile, please text me. And then we got to furnish the school and then we got to decorate. I want to tap back in into the divine feminine. I want to tap back in into the divine feminine. I want to tap back in into the divine feminine. Okay, divine feminine, how should we decorate the school? Okay, I want your ideas on colors and I want your ideas on decorations. Do we want statues in the school? Do we want posters in the school? Do we want painting in the school? Do we want plants and flowers in the school? I'm talking about decorations. We want FDMG to be Africa in America. I said we want FDMG to be Africa in America. I said we want FDMG to be Africa in America, brothers and sisters. If you have a piece of art you want to donate, take a picture and text it to me before you send it. Do not send it to me without me seeing it. If you have a statue, you have a piece of art that you want to donate, take a picture of it on your cell phone and text me the picture. Dr. Umar, I would like to donate this poster, this painting, this picture, this statue. My number is 215-989-9858. My number is 215-989-9858. My number is 215-989-985. Peace and love, ladies. Hi, good to see y'all, baby. Good to see you. All right. You can... Okay. I think she wanted to come get a picture with King Kong. That was one of my lady supporters. I think she wanted to come get a picture with King Kong. You can get all the pictures you want, ladies, in Harlem, New York. You can get all the pictures you want, ladies, in Rochester, New York. You can get all the pictures you want, lady, in Atlanta, Georgia. You can get all the pictures you want, ladies, in Petersburg, Virginia. You can get all the pictures you want, ladies, in Nat Turner Land, Virginia. You can get all the pictures you want, ladies, in St. Croix, U.S. Virgin Islands, August the 26th. Where my U.S. Virgin Island is at? Where my St. Croix, my St. John, my St. Thomas, where my U.S. Virgin Island is at? We got a lot of donors in the Caribbean, and we got a lot of donors in the U.S. Virgin Islands, and I'm going to see you all at the Agricultural Fairgrounds in St. Croix, U.S. Virgin Islands, Saturday, August the 26th, and I'm coming with the good news. I'm coming to St. Croix, U.S. Virgin Islands with the good news. Renovations are done, brothers and sisters. We here now. We here now, brothers and sisters. And then, where my Tennessee, where my Nashville, Tennessee Africans? Nashville, Tennessee, I'm going to see you Friday night, September the 15th. Nashville, Tennessee, I'm going to see you Friday night, September the 15th. Nashville, Tennessee, I'm coming to Nashville, brothers and sisters. I'm coming to Nashville, Friday night, September the 15th. Pull-up season. It's going to be pull-up season. It's going to be pull-up season. Tulsa, Oklahoma, September the 11th. Tulsa, Oklahoma, September the 11th. I'm coming with the good news. They said Jesus brought the gospel and the gospel means good news. Well, I'm black Jesus. I'm the black Jesus of black consciousness. I said I'm the black Jesus of black consciousness. If there's anyone more worthy of the title than me in this day and age, call his name. I said I'm the black Jesus of black consciousness and I'm born on the same day as the original Jesus, August the 21st, brothers and sisters. The prophecy is coming to fulfillment. The prophecy is coming to fulfillment. The prophecy is coming to fulfillment, brothers and sisters. Where my Cameroonian Africans at in West Africa? Where my Cameroonian Africans at? Cameroon, Africa, I'm going to see you September the 21st through the 25th. Cameroonian Africans, West Africa, I'm coming. And when I get to Cameroon, we got to go to Burkina Faso. When I get to Cameroon, we got to go to Guinea. When I get to Cameroon, we got to go to Niger. When I get to Cameroon, we got to go to Mali and check in on the revolution. We got to check in on the revolution. 
We got the check-in on the revolution when I get to Cameroon, September the 21st to the 25th. Where my peace and love? Where my Ghanaian Africans at? Where my Ghanaian Africans at? I will be in University of Ghana, Accra, Thursday. What's the date? November the 4th? That first Thursday in November, I will be at the University of Ghana in Accra. University of Ghana in Accra. University of Ghana in Accra, first Thursday in November, and then I go up to the Volta region. There's two festivals in the Volta region. On the first Saturday and first Sunday in November, I will be in the Volta region of Ghana. Where my Ghanaian Africans at? Where my Ghanaian Africans at? Where my Ghanaian Africans at? King Kong is coming. Few more points and I'm gonna let y'all go. Few more points and I'm gonna let y'all go. Any brothers and sisters out there, master painters, I need you to be the captain of painting a classroom. I wanna assign you to a classroom as a captain if you are a master painter. I wanna assign you to the classroom if you are a master painter to make sure the painting is done right. We don't want sloppy painting. We don't want to cause problems. I need somebody in each classroom who can show other people how to paint. I need somebody in each classroom for paint day to show people how to paint. I need somebody in every classroom for paint day to show people how to paint. Oh, yes. And then I need a few brothers to come out a few days early so we can tape everything up. We got to tape up the doors, tape up the windows, tape up the electrical outlets, tape up the baseboards, tape up the furniture. I don't want paint. Nowhere is not supposed to be. So if you are a brother in Philly, New Jersey, Delaware, Northern Maryland, you say, Dr. Umar, let me come on up a few days before paint day, brother. We're going to lay down the drop on all the floors so none of the floors get no paint. We're going to tape up the outlets. We're going to tape up the windows. We're going to tape up the baseboards. I need some tape brothers, some tape brothers and some tape sisters to come and tape everything up before we paint. It's about service with me. Yes, I'm the greatest orator of my race in this day, but it's about the service. Yes, I'm a better speaker than every other person you know in the black conscious community, but it's not about that. It's about service to the people. I serve the people. I live for the people. I will die for the people. I will honor the people. Yes, I'm the greatest orator of my time, but this ain't about public speaking right now. This is about building the institutions. But I'm going to talk my talk in Harlem on Thursday, and I'm going to talk my talk in Rochester on Friday, and I'm going to talk my talk in Atlanta on Saturday, and I'm going to talk my talk in Petersburg, Virginia on Sunday, and I'm going to talk my talk at Nat Turner Lane on Monday, August the 21st, and I'm going to talk my talk in Tulsa, Oklahoma on September the 11th, and I'm going to talk my talk in Nashville, Tennessee on September the 15th, brothers and sisters. Last thing, last thing, and I'm going to let y'all go. If you want to reach me, 215-989-9858. Vicki Dillard is not allowed at the Frederick Douglass and Marcus Garvey Academy. That woman is a hater. I don't even know why you mentioned her. I'm going to block you for that. Don't put haters on me. We celebrating right now. Let me block this person. Block. Goodbye, sister. Goodbye, sister. We celebrating right now. Don't mention no haters while I'm celebrating. Don't mention no haters while we celebrating right now. Don't, don't, don't mention no haters while we celebrate. Don't do that. But that's that negativity. I understand. The coon in you couldn't help it. I understand, sister. Don't worry. We're going to baptize you back into blackness. We're going to baptize you back into blackness. Don't you even worry about it, my sister. Before you know it, I'm going to have that weave off your head and I'm going to have some common sense in your head. I said, before you know it, I'm going to have that weave off your head and some common sense in your head. I said, in the name of my African ancestors from here, back there, and everywhere everywhere before you know it i'm gonna have that weave off your head and some common sense in your head don't you name no haters while i'm celebrating that woman ain't built no institutions for the people she ain't built a single institution for the community i don't know why you throwing her name up i don't know why you throwing her name up while we celebrating fdmg don't bring me no damn haters right now but here's the last thing i want to say here's the last thing i want to say here's the last thing while we are painting on paint day cleaning up on cleanup day and bringing the furniture in on furniture day right here in the Harriet Tubman Ida B. Wells Park, right here inside the Harriet Tubman Ida B. Wells Park. I want to have a community cookout. Is there anybody willing to come and man one of the grills for the community cookout? 
Is there any brothers or sisters who are willing to come and man the grill at the community cookout? This is not a block party. This is not the FDMG festival. But we want to have a community cookout while we are painting on paint day. We're going to have a community cookout while we're cleaning up on cleanup day. And we're going to have a community cookout while we're bringing the furniture in on furniture day. I want about four or five grills out here. Some chicken, some wings, some ribs. And then I'm going to ask the sisters to bring some vegetarian dishes and some vegan dishes. And we're going to put some chairs out here. I, I need a DJ. Who got the portable music? I need a DJ. Who, who got the portable speakers? Who got the portable speakers, brothers and sisters? We need some music out here. We're going to fellowship with one another and build unity and network and socialize inside of the Harriet Tubman Ida B. Wells Park right here, brothers and sisters, on your campus of FDMG. Who got the portable speakers? We need a portable DJ. Speakers and turntables, nothing but conscious music, no gangster rap. Nothing but conscious music, no gangster rap. If you want to DJ the community cookout on cleanup day, please text me. If you want to DJ the community cookout on paint day, please text me. If you want to DJ the community cookout on furniture day, please text me, brothers and sisters. Oh, yes. If you want to cook on the grill, I need to know that. Come on over, beloved. If you want to cook on the grill, I need to know that. If you the DJ, I need to know that. We're going to put some tables out here, some chairs, some music, some food, some spring water, some vegan drinks. And we're going to socialize while we paint the school. We're going to socialize while we clean up the school. We're going to socialize while we bring the furniture into school. I just wanted to go live one time and let y'all know renovations are done. We need an HVAC inspection. We need a paint day. We need a cleanup day, a certificate of occupancy. We need some floors tiled. We need some floor with some carpet. If you know how to lay tile and carpet, let me know. And then we got to furnish the school and decorate. And it's time for the grand opening. Oh, we here now. Where them haters at? I can't hear them. Where the haters at? I can't. Where the haters at? I don't hear them. Where, 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 where them people who was running their mouth for four years, brothers and sisters? Where the haters at? Where, where they go? Where the haters go, brothers and sisters? Seriously, where they at? Where are the haters? Where are the YouTubians? Where are the conscious people who was taking jabs? Where they at? Where they at? And we're going to donate one of the rooms inside of the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy. It's going to be a Pan-African Museum. We're opening a Pan-African Museum inside of the school. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. There will be a Pan-African Museum inside of the Marcus Garvey Elementary. Oh, yes. There will be a Pan-African Museum inside of the Marcus Garvey Elementary. I'm taking over the whole damn movement. I'm taking over the whole damn movement. I'm taking over the whole damn movement. We're looking at September for paint day. It's going to come quickly. Please text me your color schemes. Please text me your color schemes for the 15 rooms. Please text me your color schemes. Teacher's lounge, girl's bathroom, boy's bathroom, computer room, main office, Dr. Umar office, hallways, and regular classrooms. How should we paint them up? Give me your breakdown. How should we decorate? Give me your breakdown, brothers and sisters. You know how to reach me. Harlem, New York, Thursday, Garvey Day. You know how we do. It's RBG, Garveyite Grenade, Gangbangers, Unapologetically African Alpha Males, 215 215-989-9858. 215-989-9858. And last but not least, thank you to my donors. Thank you to my donors from around the African world. Thank you to my African family from around the world, because without you, there would be no school. I didn't do this. You did this. Thank you for hanging in there with me. Thank you for hanging in there with me, even when they were slandering me, hating, sabotaging, undermining, y'all hung in there, and the victory is yours. Black August 23 and 23, Harlem, Rochester, Atlanta, Petersburg, Nat Turner Land, Nashville, Tulsa, St. Croix, King Kong is coming. Cameroon, Ghana, King Kong is coming. Peace and Pan-Africanism.